Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. It's July 4th, happy th uh, July 4th. Uh, today, um, I'm going for a Marco drum smoker, Oklahoma Joe's, and I'm gonna hang two racks of uh, St. Louis style pork ribs hanging vertical in the drum smoker and cook them that way. So I've got the ribs laid out over here. I need to clean them up and square them up and get them ready to put the rub on. And I'm also gonna do a little something different today. This is called bacon up. This is bacon grease. And I wanna melt some of this and inject it into the pork rib a little bit to see how juicy and what kind of taste I can produce. So I'm gonna get over here and start cleaning these guys up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm, I'm back and I'm, I've got this, I got it at HEB, it's called Bacon Up. It's bacon grease, it's plain old and simple. Uh, what I'm gonna do is inject some of it into these pork ribs and see if I get a really juicy pork flavor. So here, let me pull some of it up. Not much, I'm trying to find the bone, stick it in, shoot a little in there. I've never done this before. I wanted to try this, this bacon injection to see how it comes out. Get a little bit more. Okay, I, I finished injecting the bacon grease into these ribs. I'm gonna use two rubs today. Uh, it's called Swine Life Mississippi Grit. And I'm using John Henry's pecan rub. That's, that's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rub on these guys. Turn this over. So I did pull the membrane off, so the rub should be able to get to the protein. All right, this is John Henry. Set up just a hair. Um, sweat in. Okay, here's the swine life. I'll put this on. I tell you what, these, these cooling racks and the rubbing racks are well worth the investment to do all this stuff on. You rub them on there and you put the meat on there to cool off, it works great. All right, what I'm gonna do is to keep them separated, I'm gonna stick a toothpick in this one with the swine line, and then I'm gonna let them sit here and sweat for 30 minutes, then I'll take them out to the drum and, and hang them. Uh, what I'm hanging them with is these meat hangers. And what you do is you get under the second bone and stick it through the meat 
and it hangs vertically like that in the drum smoker. I'm anxious to see how that comes out. So let me go ahead and hook this guy up. One, two. Stick it through. back a little bit when I get out to the fire okay I'm back and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna load my my Bronco smoker I, I'm of the opinion that the charcoal does matter the quality of your charcoal so I have started using in the Bronco briquettes and it's the jealous devil uh, charcoal uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna load my basket with briquettes. Actually, this charcoal is getting really hard to find. I've used Jealous Devil, and I've used B&B &B Competition Oak, uh, and uh, <laughs> no. So as I was saying, the charcoal is getting hard to find. I found uh, these extra large Jealous Devil briquettes on Amazon and as you can see they're, they're really good size they call them extra large pillow briquettes so most of the time if I'm cooking other than my Bronco I'll use uh, lump charcoal so this is how I'm load this basket with charcoal to cook those ribs Okay, I think that's enough to do it. And what I'm gonna do is um, take chunks of cherry wood and hickory on top of this charcoal so it'll produce some smoke when the charcoal starts to burn and then the wood will catch fire and then produce smoke. So I'm thinking cherry and hickory would be a, a, a pretty good mix. All right. Then what I have to do is make a little hole here for my tumbleweed fire starters. Like so. And then I take my torch and light my fire starters. What I'm going to do is start it at this end, and for a longer cook, it will start burning like a snake and, and, take, and burn longer. Okay. I'm gonna let this burn for a little while and I'll bring you back. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry. I have some horribly rude neighbors behind me. Now I, I hope you can hear me. So, I got the charcoal going. Now I'm gonna take the little tool that comes with the Bronco, lift it up and put it down in the barrel. You see inside there? Mm -hmm. Now it's time to hang the reel. Here's the hanger. It fits in like that. There we go. Now I go get the meat and I'll hang it up. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to put the, uh, the ribs in the smoker, hanging vertically.
close it up, and I'm going to dial up the damper to a 1, and this one to a 1. And I'll check the temperature here in a little bit. And then I'm going to spray them with apple cider vinegar here in a little bit. So I'll bring you back. Okay, the ribs are ready to come off the Bronco. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off with a little hook. Now I just need to take them in and let them cool off. And then I'll cut into them. Man, they look and smell so good. So I'll bring you right back. All right. I got the ribs in here, and they've been on the cooling racks for 30, 45 minutes. And we're going to cut them up and see what we got. This first rack was the... Uh, The uh, Mississippi Grit. Let's look at this rib. It's got a smoke ring almost all the way through that rib. It looks, it looks really, really juicy too. Let's take a bite out of this and see how it tastes. Mm. Really juicy. I don't taste the bacon grease, but I mean, they are very juicy. Let's try this second wrap. This is with the Uncle Henry's pecan rub. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look how, oh, look at the juice running out of it. So I'm going to take a bite of this one and see how it does. Mm. This is definitely the Uncle Henry's. It's buttery, a little bit of sweet. So, hanging your ribs vertically in a drum smoker, it's a different type of cook than an offset. But the flavor with the Jealous Devil, uh, charcoal, the cherry wood, the hickory, the flavor is wonderful. So, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on the video. And I'll see you the next time I'm cooking.